Yeah, okay, this is much better. I don't know why YouTube even has that option. They let you have like a webcam version. I think it's just for mobile users, uh, but this one is much better because it lets me use multiple cameras and like microphones and sound and stuff. So sorry about that. I have a little chill playlist that I got from YouTube for free, so tell me if you can hear it just in the background. I don't want it to be too loud. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna be working on some armor in the meantime. If you have questions, feel free to post it. Sorry I missed some in the chat uh, that was in the last stream. Uh, if you asked a question, feel free to uh, ask it again. I am going to talk about a new template that I made. It's uh, the holster for like the clone commanders. It's just a very simple template. Uh, it fits my clone pistol very well. I made it since the uh, Gendy Tartakovsky clone actually has a, uh, like a pistol, which is pretty unique. Uh, but yeah, this one fits the pistol really snugly uh, so it doesn't like fall out or anything it's in there pretty good it, all you'd need to do is take like a strap along the side and run it up underneath the uh, ammo pouch on the belt uh, that's the only thing you'd need to do it is available right now actually I forgot to mention that it is in the description I did upload it already so no waiting on that one. I did it in a couple... Uh, I just threw it together last night, actually. So, yeah, that's free in the description. Go check that out. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to be building some armor. Oh, yeah, I am going to be making a, a comma to go with it. I thought about doing that in this stream, but I haven't even started on the template for it, so... Yeah, unfortunately, it's going to be a boring stream if I work on that. I'm just going to be doing, like, uh, some shoulder armor pieces, I think, uh, for my commander. I'm still torn on what to do for the Gendy Tartakovsky clone, Commander Cody, uh, because his shoulder pads are pretty unique. Um, I think they're based off of the Revenge of the Sith style, but the Clone Wars TV show style doesn't have those unique shoulder pads. So I'm torn. Uh, let me look at the chat. Yeah. All right. Welcome, guys once again. Yeah, if you have questions at any time, feel free to ask it. I did miss a lot of questions in the last few months. I apologize about that. Uh, life just got really busy. Um, and plus I'm working on like five projects at the moment. And plus I'm also trying to get my uh, Etsy store started up. So lots going on. Uh, feel free to ask any questions that you may have uh, not gotten answered. All right. Got my trusty six millimeter foam roll. I have like a mountain of templates beside me, so I'm going to have to find the shoulder pad real quick.
Uh, I get all of my foam from, well, different places actually. At first I got it from Amazon. Um, that's a good place if you don't have like, a craft store near you. Um, but I also get it from Michael's. This is where this foam comes from. It's just regular low density foam, or normal density, I should say. Uh, Hobby Lobby sells high density foam, and those are really good. I have a few rolls of that that I'm planning to save for another project. cloth do you use for your clothes? Um, I haven't used much fabric in my armor builds, honestly. Uh, the undersuits that I've used have just been Amazon bought, so I didn't really make them. Um, for like the comma that I'm going to make, uh, that's just going to be like some fabric strips that I bought from Walmart. Walmart, they're like $10 for 9 yards. They're not three yards of it. Uh, so it's a lot that you get for, I guess, a relatively good price. Uh, and that's what I'm going to be using for the comma, just cheap fabric. Um, to make a commander an arc style comma, the main difference is mainly the length and how they are secured. Yeah, I've noticed a difference in the commas uh, that different clones use. Like, I think Captain Rex's is a little different from, like, Fives and Jesse and Echo's commas. Uh, I'm probably just going to make, like, the Captain Rex style since there's so much reference material out there. But I do think there is a slight difference. I think around the back, maybe, and the length, like you said. Yeah. Can you use this as a replacement for EVA foam? Uh, probably cardboard. That's probably the cheapest and easiest place to start. But uh, it's, I think, a step down, step down from card or EVA foam. Uh, just because cardboard has like striation, so you'll see it in the finished product if you don't like use putty uh, to sand it down and smooth it out. That's the only reason I don't use uh, cardboard, just because it's hard to get it to look good in the end, but it's easy to work with and it's cheap. Uh, so if you're just starting out, that's a great place to start, but uh, you'll want to move to foam if you want better looking costumes, I think. the Bad Batch so far. It's really good. Uh, it has, I think, started to get a little bit repetitive, but I really do like it. It's, It really is the spiritual uh, successor to the Clone Wars, and I'm so happy that Disney allowed it to exist. Uh, I'm, I'm caught up, I think. There's like six episodes out right now, uh, I believe, and they're all really good. I like how they brought in Finnick Shand from The Mandalorian, kind of tie that together. That's really cool. We still have to see Rex from the trailers. I'm eager to, to see him again. What piece of the armor would you recommend starting with first? I would recommend something small like the gauntlets or hand plates, just something to give you a small uh, bit of success early on. Uh, something that will encourage you to keep going. So if you start with something big like the chest piece and you mess up halfway through, it's going to discourage you. So I wouldn't start with something big like that. Uh, do something small that you can uh, easily finish. Yeah, RJR Productions has great cardboard uh, tutorials. I don't think he does templates, though. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think he does like free templates. 
Uh, but yeah, his stuff looks amazing for cardboard. I'm actually impressed. Oh, he does do templates? Well, that's good to know. If they're free, I might uh, use them sometime. Oh, Etsy templates? Yeah, well, there goes that idea. I guess I can't use them. Yeah, Fennec Shand does look pretty much the same in the Clone Wars, or not the Clone Wars, the Bad Batch, and the Mandalorian. I guess she's just one of those uh, types that doesn't really age. Full Phase 2 armor from RJR Productions is around $50. A bit much, but he can run it as he pleases. Yeah, absolutely, you can uh, price it as you please. Uh, it's up to the buyers to decide whether it's worth it or not. Uh, but yeah, I haven't seen those templates, so I can't say for sure if they're fantastic or not. Uh, but $50 does seem a bit much for templates. That's like what you'd pay for armor, uh, like individual pieces, I mean. So it's up to you. I haven't seen it. Alright, uh, see ya, Jao. Thanks for joining. Yeah, Tarkin has, like, aged incredibly in, like, a year. I think it's just the change in art style, though. I don't think he's, like, actually uh, super old all of a sudden. But it is funny. Attaching a comma to the cod piece. There's a video by Rexen, Rexen Around. Uh, where they go over their plastic suit, and I'd say attaching the comma would be the same for foam and plastic. It's where you uh, take some Velcro and just like attach it on the edges. I might be able to show. So like what you do is take the comma and just put some velcro like about right there and then uh, put some on the tip of the comma or the corner up at the top and just velcro it on probably in the front and the back there's no real uh, good way to do it I think other than that if you do know a way then feel free to let me know
thanks for subscribing, Max T. I appreciate it. Snap buttons instead of Velcro. That could work, but it would leave a maybe a like a silver spot on the armor. I don't really know. Um, helpless scaling. That is a bit of a tricky uh, thing to do. Um. I would recommend looking on my first video where I pinned a comment that talks about rescaling templates, uh, but yeah, there's no super easy way to do it because uh, everybody's body style is very different or body type. Uh, some people are tall and skinny, and other people are, you know, shorter and wider. So it's not going to be the same for everybody. Uh, I wish it could be easier, but. I don't think we have the technology uh, to make it easy just yet. Yeah, thanks for all the nice comments, guys. I'm reading them all out. I appreciate the support. I really do. Um... If you're skinnier, um, I think that would be easier to adapt the templates to, uh, because you can just fill out the empty space between you and the armor. Um, if you're wider, then you're gonna have to like modify the templates a little bit to add some material around the like sides. I would say uh, I'll probably do like a video or something on resizing. That seems to be a big topic. But, uh, yeah. I wish I could help more with that. Hey, Phil. <laughs> Good to see you again. What cosplays do I have planned for this year? Uh, so far, I have Commander Cody, I guess, my Mandalorian, that was supposed to be from last year, but that's sort of one for this year as well. I also have a uh, clone commando that I have planned. Uh, it's going to be in the style of Battlefront 2, most likely. The new one. New Battlefront 2. Actually, the old Battlefront didn't have commandos. Sadly. Yeah, other than that, I have... A plastic clone trooper kit that I'm working on. I might make some videos on that, but I know that's not like uh, everybody's priority. Well, actually, I don't know. Uh, are you guys interested in seeing plastic armor kits that I work on, or just like the foam stuff? Trying to modify the template to separate the belt and crotch pieces to have them connected. Makes the comma a bit of a nightmare. You could, like, detach the belt and the cod piece and slip the uh, comma in between them. I think that could work, but uh, I've never worked with a comma, so I can't say for sure. That, that is an idea. Clone Wars fans are rare now? I hope not. Clone Wars is the best. Um. Okay. Yes on the plastic armor? Okay. Yeah, I might make some short videos on how I go about assembling everything. Just to give you an idea, if you do decide to buy a plastic suit.
Okay. 13th Battalion Armor. Um, I don't think that's going to be a high priority for me. I just don't think that's something a lot of people want to see right now. Uh, most people wanted, like, the Clone Commando, and uh, so that's what I'm going to do next, probably. Painting a 13th Battalion suit of armor wouldn't be difficult, though. You just have to look at references and kind of adapt it to the Clone Wars style, but it could be done. I got the plastic kit from Imperial Surplus. You can look them up. Uh, they do vacuum formed armor kits. Uh, so yeah, look them up. They have a website. Imperial Surplus. Another great source, I think, for plastic suits would be like Galactic Armory. They do 3D printed ones, which it's a different type of plastic entirely, but uh, that is an option. I, I do think his suits are 501st approved as well. Uh, yes, Bad Batch on Disney+. Plus. I, I don't pirate. <laughs> I'm not like Hondo. Do you think Hondo would pirate the Bad Batch? <laughs> no EVA foam in your country. Uh, another material I would recommend... I would, uh, I'm not positive. I would say try to find some on like Amazon, some online websites, because it's really good stuff. But if you still can't find it, uh, maybe try using cardboard. I think that's a universal object. <laughs> well, other than that, maybe like, styrene plastic or something like that yeah I, I'm not really certain my thing is EVA foam so that's all I really know honestly yes I do plan to join the 501st Legion with my plastic suit but like all of my foam suits are just gonna be for fun they're just for me and for you guys so yeah, the plastic suit is just for 501st approval, but everything else is just for fun, so don't uh, don't think I'm, like, becoming super strict all of a sudden. Galactic Armory's files are kind of whack. Well, I've never seen them. Like, I don't own them, so I wouldn't really know. I, I thought they were 501st approved. Yeah, I don't know. They do, do look really good, though. At least from a distance. I have thought about doing things outside of Star Wars, 
uh, and I will eventually, but I think right now my fan base is very Star Wars focused, so I'm going to stick with what people uh, want to see for now. But yeah, I will definitely do some other costumes eventually. Recommendations for foam to buy. I really want to work on a suit, but can't really find any which come in a large scale to buy. Uh, like I said, the one that I have here is from Michaels. Um, it's six millimeter. Uh, I would definitely check out their website. They run some deals sometimes where you can buy them in bulk. And that's what I did. I bought like six rolls of this one, and it was like maybe between forty and fifty dollars I think because uh, when you buy them in bulk it's discounted and I think I had a coupon too so you can like combine discounts and get a good price but yeah individually it does really cost a lot Yeah, you always want to buy like several rolls of foam at a time uh, because you're, you're going to need more for sure. Like you're going to run out pretty quickly. That's what I've found. How you paint the suit? I'm just going to use uh, Plaid FX Flexible Acrylic Paint. Um, that's what I've been using for my costumes recently and it's worked really well. Like. Uh, Uh, this is one that I painted with Platifex paints, and it's like a flexible paint, so you can squish it and stuff, and it won't like crack or break or chip off. So it's really nice paint. Uh, Plaid FX, you can find it on Amazon and in craft stores. I know they sell it in both Michaels and Hobby Lobby, so yeah, check it out. recreate Commander Riser with the plastic suit. I wish I could, uh, but it's not canon, unfortunately, so I wouldn't be able to join the 501st. I'm thinking about uh, painting the plastic suit as just a regular uh, 501st in blue, uh, because it's easy, it's cool, everybody knows what it is. <laughs> just to get me into the 501st, but I really would like to uh, make like a plastic version of my red suit uh, just because I like the design. Uh, if I have enough money to buy another plastic suit that might be what I do. I think that'd be fun. My red suit has taken a beating. It's like falling apart at the moment so I, I really need a new suit and I'm hoping Commander Cody is gonna kind of replace it because uh, I'm really liking it so far. The adjustments I've made. Any other arc accessories such as the double pauldron chest plate as well as maybe Westar M5? Or... Um, I've definitely thought about doing more accessories. I think it'd be a good addition. Uh, I just don't really 
have a priority for it right now since I'm working working on Commander Cody and he doesn't really have many accessories. But yeah, that's definitely something that I've thought about. I really want to make like more blasters, I think. Uh, just th those are fun to make. What other fandoms are you interested in? Um, I like DC, Marvel, uh, superhero stuff. I also like uh, some anime. There's some good ones out there. Um, let's see. I've never been big into Star Trek, unfortunately. <laughs> I know that's a big, big uh, fandom, but it's never been my thing. Star Wars is just much more interesting. Yeah, I'll have to make like a generic trooper to get into the 501st because they don't allow like custom troopers, which I guess makes sense. You know, they want the cannon stuff in their group. It's fine. I mean, it's their group. They can choose. But uh, it's just not that fun, I guess. Well, I don't want to say that. Uh, where to buy a full clone trooper armor and helmet? At the moment, I believe the only place... Well, there are kits that you can buy. And you have to put them together from like Imperial Surplus and Galactic Armory. Uh, those are just kits. You have to build them and paint them. So it's not quite like buying it from a store or anything. I've thought about uh, doing that with my Etsy store, but I'm still not positive uh, whether I want to do just like pre-made suits of armor, like completely ready and everything, or just like partially made, like, like kits. I'm still kind of on the fence for that, but yeah, I'm not sure about a full suit like that's ready and everything you'd have to look into commissions uh, from other costume makers sometimes they do like you know commissions where they'll make a custom suit for you but those can cost quite a bit <clears throat> what material are the armors all of my armor is made of EVA foam. EVA foam, I should say. EVA foam, if you want. Uh, but the helmets, well, a few of them are made of uh, Pepakura and liquid plastic. There's a whole video series that I did on those. If you want to check them out, you'll probably find them pretty quickly. It's like Clone Trooper helmet tutorial. But you can do EVA foam, but it's a lot difficult or more difficult since there's like seam lines and stuff you have to deal with but yeah sorry I keep com covering up the camera I keep forgetting it's over there Um, I'm assuming you're talking about the helmet video, Julio, and, uh, that's called the, I believe, clone, no, it's called How to Make a Clone Trooper Helmet. 
yeah. You'll find it if you scroll through my videos. It has a picture of my red helmet, so, on the thumbnail. A quad blaster. Is that uh, the heavy Mandalorian's blaster? I think I know what that looks like. Yeah, I really do want to make bigger weapons like uh, the clone Z6 rotary blaster and maybe like the, the rocket launcher. I need to have like cooler weapons, I guess. blaster. Yeah, I remember that one. That uh, really crazy one that the clone like flips over his shoulders with like arms attached onto his black back. Yeah, that was crazy, but really cool.
uh, for the seams on the shoulders and sometimes on the helmets, uh, you can use uh, like a flexible spackling. That's what I've used in the past, uh, but I think that's what I'm going to use again uh, for this one. Since uh, Gendy Tartakovsky's Commander Cody has like some interesting shoulder pads, uh, I may try to do something unique with them. I saw like a video uh, where somebody did like a custom action figure of Gendy Tartakovsky's Commander Cody, and I really liked it. So I may try to replicate that. Uh, I was thinking about showing a picture. How can I do that? Maybe with my phone. Okay, I hope you can see this okay, but uh, there's like a custom figure that I saw that one guy did. Okay, the light is really getting in the way, but where is it? Go up. It's not working. Okay, the shoulders are what I'm interested in, just so you can see, uh, like the pointy shoulders. Uh, they're really big. I kind of like this design. Uh, I think the visor is a little small on this one, but the shoulders are what I'm really interested in. Uh, so I may try to replicate those. I hope you can see that okay, but uh, yeah, they're a lot bigger. And I like that, but I'm torn between that and like just regular clone shoulders. So I'm not sure. If I did do like the beefier shoulders, I would have to cover them up, or cover these normal shoulders up uh, with like a bigger piece. Uh, I'm still kind of on the fence about that, but might as well just get started on something. Yeah, I've always thought like action figures uh, would look really cool like in real life if we were able to eh, transfer over their proportions somehow. So yeah, action figures are a great uh, resource uh, for like references. If you have it in your hand, you can like turn it around and stuff and look at it. I found that really helpful.
Yeah, I'm building the uh, shoulder pad right now. I wish I could update this piece and have fewer seam lines in it, but it's just such a curved shape, I don't think it's going to be possible. You'll have to, like, uh, hide the seam lines with putty, I think. So that's what I'm going to do. Um... Battlefront 2 can be a good source. Yeah, the new one has like really high quality models, character models. So uh, that's what I'm going to use when I make my Republic Commando armor. I'm going to look at Battlefront 2 because they're just so clean and clear. So yeah, that's my plan for that. Considered doing plastic suit in the style of 187th Legion under Mace Windu. Purple Shock Trooper style markings. That'd be cool. I think... Um, I just don't think that's really my color. I know Mace Windu's Legion also has like a brown version like on Anaxis, I think. If you look up like Anaxis Clone Trooper or something, they have like brown markings. I've never seen the purple one though, but if they look like shock troopers, I can picture it. Uh, I have Instagram and Discord. Those are linked in the description. Oh, Blue Crystal Beast already got that for me. Um, but yeah, I don't have a Twitter. I, I have a personal one, but I never use it, ever. Because I just don't like Twitter at all. But yeah, you can join my community, I guess, <laughs> with uh, Discord. There's lots of people on there having conversations and showing pictures and stuff. I pop in from time to time just to <laughs> let you all know I exist. The Commander Cody helmet. Uh, yes, I actually was planning to reuse my other helmet, the yellow one. Um, I'm just gonna sand it down a little bit and then repaint it as Commander Cody. I'm gonna have to make a visor for it though. The Imperial Surplus kit is TCW version. It is just like my other clone, like the Clone War style, so it's not live action. I was really on the fence, uh, but I kind of like the TCW version better, uh, just because it's what I know, I guess. You know, I've built several suits, well, I guess not several suits, but 1.5 suits of it already so I know like the ins and outs of it and it would just be easier for me to you know trim it and modify it and stuff uh, put it together I guess because I already know it like the back of my hand Yeah, Battlefront is great for references. I love the uh, the look of Battlefront 2, the new one. It's just so pretty, like really clean. All the character models looked like they came from the movies. So it's a fantastic looking game. I just couldn't really get into it because the gameplay isn't very fun, in my opinion. 
the old Battlefront 2 had more fun gameplay. Maybe I just die too quickly in the new one, and I just got bitter. I think that's probably it. Oh, and they don't have, like, instant action. Or maybe they do. I know they updated it and stuff. It's been a while. I wish they had instant action, though. If I lived closer, I would do a walk about with you in our armor. That'd be fun. <laughs> I'd really love to walk around with like some subscribers or something. Uh, go to like a convention. Uh, I've thought about like, I guess when the conventions come back, like I'll let people know where I'm going. Uh, if you want to show up, and say hi. You can. Can you live stream a convention? At a convention? That's an idea. Might try that. I hope they come back soon, though, because conventions are always fun. There's mods on PC for TCW. Yeah, I've seen uh, like the Clone Wars mods, and they look really cool. I just don't own it on PC, unfortunately. I got it on Xbox, which was a mistake. Oh, it does have instant action? Okay. Yeah, that's good. That was always my favorite game mode. You could just go anywhere. <laughs> you have to con crunch? Does that mean you have, like, a lot of cons to go to? Or there aren't any near you or something? Uh... I hope that goes well then. Yeah, that'd be fun to go trooping together. Clone boys beaming. You're in like Texas, I think, right? That's not too far from where I am. I'm East Coast. Oh, you crashed Battlefront 2's uh, servers when it was free. That's cool. Uh, give them a little hint that we still love Star Wars and they need to do better. Alright, uh, see you, Blue Crystal Beast. It was good to have you. Maybe I will get into Battlefront 2 again. We'll have to see. Oh, that's what Con Crunch means. Well, good luck with that. I know cons are pretty stressful, like when you're building a costume and stuff. I think I was just barely finishing up my DC-15A rifle uh, when I went to my first Comic Con. And uh, I was pretty stressed, like, getting it finished right before I had to go. But it all worked out really great, so I'm sure it will for you too. You 
overloaded the servers because there were too many people on at once. That's great. <laughs> I hope EA uh, does better with Star Wars games in the future. Because we need more Star Wars games. I forgot a step. Gmod add-ons are a great source for reference images. Okay, I'll check that out. I think I've seen them. Like, there are 3D character models that you can, like, spin around and stuff. I hope there's one for a commando. Bad Batch and Season 7, like, character models look fantastic. Like, compared to earlier Clone Wars episodes, the newer stuff is just leagues ahead. It's phenomenal. Uh, like, the Bad Batch, I think in Episode 1, uh, where they're on that snowy planet, it's just beautiful. Like, the scenery and everything. So, uh, I'm very happy with where, it, where it's come, or how far it's come. Jedi Fallen Order is pretty cool. Yeah, it is. I've played several levels or planets of it so far, but I haven't finished it. I do like it. I wish there was more customization, though.
Uh, there's an add-on. Okay. Um. Do you have, like, a... Hmm. I don't know if you can send stuff over Instagram. Oh, uh, no, you can do it on Discord. If you want, you can send me, like, a private message on Discord and send it to me. Uh, but yeah, I'd appreciate any uh, reference images I can get. So. Hello there. Morty. Oh yeah, they changed uh, Kanan Jarrus' origins in the Bad Batch. I saw that, how it was like a comic book, and they kind of altered some of the things, like the clones uh, were red and stuff. Uh, it looks... I haven't like read the comics or anything, so I can't really say for sure, but... I guess if you grew up with the comics and they changed it now, then yeah, I can see why that would upset people. I've never read the comics, and I kind of like the Commander Grey, or Captain Grey from the Bad Batch. I thought it was a cool sequence, but I don't know everything that happens. So, um, Clone Boys Memeing, your channel has really done, or grown really well lately, I've noticed really happy for you guys. Gray originally had a sword on his... Sacrificed himself to save Kanan. Huh. That sounds way different than what we got, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I saw pictures of Command or Captain Gray. Well, I guess it was Commander Gray in the comic. Maybe. I don't know everything about the comic, but... I really liked uh, Gray's character model. It's a cool design. And I do like the sword. I wish they kept it on. Clones don't really have, like, melee weapons. So that would have been cool to see. Using uh, my tutorials to make some armor. Awesome. I wish you luck, Dubs Glitch. Appreciate the uh, support. <laughs> Starting my armor after I'm done with the helmet. Well, good luck, Steve. It's always a big project, but it's really fun. The results are always so cool to see. What's up, Solstice Gaming? Uh, next live stream. Um, I haven't decided like on a schedule or anything yet, uh, but I'd like to do them maybe a couple times a month. I need to focus on like regular videos, I think, uh, tutorials and such. I think that's what uh, I need to do right now, because I have like 10 projects in the works, and uh, I have like video files for each one of them, but I need to finish them just takes so long to edit stuff, you know? Commander Gray and Captain Styles. I believe that's right. Yeah, it is a bit of a shame that they changed them so much. They kind of combined them together. Uh, I wish they had given, like, 
Kanan and is it Balaba? Master Balaba? I wish they had given them their own legion in the Bad Batch, because they were just like regular troopers in episode one. And I'm a little, little disappointed in that. I kind of wish they had markings, like uh, Commander Gray, or Captain Gray. But it's okay. It's pretty cool, nonetheless. Oh yeah, I saw they were having a a new wave of archive figures. The five of first trooper is going to be one of them. That guy is going to sell out first, above all the others. I guarantee it. Everybody wants clones. Hasbro just doesn't realize it. I'm glad my tutorials are helpful, Steve. There's more to come. Oh, I see the music stopped. Thire from the Bad Batch. I don't think it was confirmed that he was Thire, but I think that's what everybody kind of assumes. I think it is too. He's like one of the only Shock Trooper commanders left. So it's probably him. He would be pretty simple to make. All you'd have to do is just have like a regular Shock Trooper and then just add a pauldron. But yeah, that's definitely a, a good design. You're thinking about making Captain Gray as your next clone? That'd be really cool to see. You could do like uh, Captain... Was it? Captain Styles and Commander Gray. Since there's two of you guys. Do I do my own editing? Yes, I do. I do everything. I have like 10 jobs. I do like the editing, uh, the voice recording, I have to make the costumes, I have to buy the materials, I have to do the social marketing, I guess, if you will. I post to everything on social media and make sure everybody knows what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I have like 10 jobs for this channel. It's insane. I need like an editor or something. I thought about hiring someone on like Fiverr, but who knows? I don't think I have enough income from this channel to really need like an editor. I think if I hit like 
around 50,000 subscribers, then maybe I'll hire an editor. Uh, but we'll have to see. Planning on making Mandalorian chest armor, any tips? How hard would you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? The Mandalorian chest, I would rate um, probably like a 5, 5 out of 10. It's really not that difficult. Um, I guess chest pieces are always going to be the harder pieces, probably the hardest, because uh, it's the biggest piece and it's usually all connected like the chest and back together are connected so it is a bit tricky to line everything up uh, but that's it's really not that difficult for that one uh, if you saw like the video tutorial on it I used like individual pieces of foam and uh, that breaks it up and makes it easier to I guess manipulate with smaller pieces so I would recommend using like smaller pieces of foam but you can use like the larger rolls if you feel like it. I kind of designed the Mandalorian to be easier to make since people had a lot of trouble with the clone trooper. So the Mandalorian was kind of a step down in difficulty. <clears throat> okay, thank you video game guy for sending the images. I'll check them out after the stream. Um, I'm probably not going to make the custom Commander Cody shoulder armor in this stream, uh, just because I haven't made like a template for it or anything. I'm probably just going to finish this shoulder pad and end it there. Uh, I've already made the other one, actually. So, this is what it's going to look like. Dyer had macro binoculars on his helmet. I think you might be talking about Commander Devis, but I'm not positive. I don't remember exactly what Thyer looks like in canon, like Revenge of the Sith style, I mean. But Commander Devis did have like a comma, macro binoculars, and red markings. He was a pretty cool clone as well. How do I get these? Sh this shoulder seams so close together. Um, I've been using contact cement for the shoulders because that's stuff right here. Uh, the the hot glue that I was using uh, just doesn't cover them up super well. So, yeah, there's the inside. Hot glue seams usually tend to be really messy, unfortunately. But it is easier to do with hot glue, and probably safer. Well, not easier, but definitely safer. The Shock Trooper in the Bad Batch was not dire. It's confirmed to be in the Senate room with Palpatine in Revenge of the Sith. He didn't have a pauldron. Yeah, that's true. Um... I think that was in uh well I guess what I'm thinking is that was live action style and maybe they're just like altering it in the Bad Batch I don't really know but I don't I really don't know if that was Thyre or not maybe they'll eventually tell us 
I feel like they won't, though. Also, it could be that uh, Thyre just like picked up a pauldron and threw it on when he was on his way to Cor or Camino, since he's already just like a plain shock trooper. He just picked up a random comma, and, not comma, pauldron. Just picked up a pauldron and threw it on real quick. Maybe he got promoted like right there, and they just didn't have special armor for him. That's what I want to assume. They just didn't have, like, special armor since he just got promoted. Uh, there's an action figure, pauldron red comma, phase one. Oh, phase one. Yeah, that's true, phase one had binoculars. Yeah, it could be. That's right, I did see uh, there was a Bad Batch action figure coming out for the Shock Trooper. I think he had a pauldron, um, so yeah, that's probably that guy from Camino. Yeah, there's a big, vague line between canon, canon and non-canon. They're doing a lot of, like, reworking stuff right now during the Bad Batch, so it's possible that Fox might not be dead. Because I know in the comics, Vader kills Fox. But that would make sense if Thyre got promoted and took his place. Because the Thyre was a lieutenant in the Clone Wars, he would have gotten promoted at some point, but it uh, may or may not have been because of Fox Fox's death. I don't know. There's like so many possibilities, and I guess canon and non-canon are kind of a blur right now. Maybe the Bad Batch will answer some questions. Yeah, that's right. I just wish uh, Thyre had, like, some special gear in Revenge of the Sith to make him more distinct. So I think Thyre got promoted, like, on the spot in Episode 3. Like, it wasn't uh, beforehand, which is why he's not wearing special armor. Because why else would he be in just plain shock trooper armor? I don't know.
Hello there, Daniel. Yeah, retcon. The Bad Batch is retconning a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's a bit unfortunate for the comic lovers, but I think it is good that we're finally getting something canon during this time period. So, I'm happy. Regardless. Though I do understand people's pain with retcons. Yeah, P Fox has like a lot of fans uh, among the Star Wars community, which I don't understand. I don't like Fox. <laughs> I don't hate him, but I, I don't really like him. So when he, he got killed by Vader in the comics, you know, people were really upset, but I was like, my boy Thire is going to get a promotion now. <laughs> Same with Apo. He got promoted too, probably because of Rex, like, disappearing. I wonder if we'll see Apo again. Fox. Fox's whole gimmick was like he sn sniffs out crime like a fox sn sniffs out a ra rabbit's den, if I can speak. <clears throat> That's funny. Too bad Fox couldn't sniff out the uh, Order 66 plot. But I think he was in on it, so I think he knew what was going to happen. I mean, all the other... think about it, like, all the other clone commanders have like a Jedi even if it's like a mean Jedi, they still have like a Jedi commander. But who does the Senate, or who does the the Coruscant Guard report to? They don't report to a Jedi. They report to Palpatine, who's a Sith. I think, I think they would have known Order 66 was going to happen. But maybe that's just my theory. Almost stayed as a 501st trooper, and we're gonna be Apo. Yeah, that wouldn't be too difficult to modify. You just have to add a little arrow to your head. Yeah, so many clone trooper designs.
You like Fox because of how he barged into Zero's hideout shortly after receiving a comm from C-3PO, as opposed to dismissing it. Yeah, Fox was absolutely amazing in, like, the beginning. I think that was, that was in the movie, right? Clone Wars, the movie. I really liked Fox in that movie, but, like, gradually he just got more, uh, I don't know what the word is. <laughs> not really as cool. That was also that time when he let the uh, like suicide droids go into the uh, Coruscant power station and they blew up like the power grid or something. get to see Fox and TCW during Battle of Coruscant. Yeah, that would have been really cool. Fordo needs to be brought into canon. <laughs> He's like the coolest clone ever. He's cooler than Rex. I think he's uh, what Rex is based off of actually. Captain Fordo was like the best. Yeah, I know uh, there's a lot of The Last Airbender, like, references in uh, Dave Filoni's work, since Dave Filoni worked on uh, The Last Airbender in a few episodes. So he put, like, references in The Clone Wars, and sort of The Mandalorian, like, the, the hand plates on The Mandalorian are blue, blue arrows, so I think people consider that a reference. I do too, but... It's a small thing. D, D. Bradley Baker voiced Appa. That's really cool. I didn't know that. I guess Dave Filoni and Baker go back a long way then. <laughs> the uh, deep lore continues. Rex is based off of Alpha 17. Yeah, you're probably right, actually. I remember Alpha 17 from, like, the comics. He was really cool. I actually have his action figure, but it kind of fell apart. I think, uh... I mean, cor correct me if I'm wrong, but, uh... Alpha 7... not Alpha... Fordo. Fordo is the only other clone besides Rex that I know of that has the uh, the little ears on his helmet. The what are they called? Jig eyes. Eyes, not ears. Jig eyes on his helmet. I kind of wish we got to see more clones with those markings because they look really cool and like it's a distinction of like a cool trooper. So. I wonder why we didn't get to see more of them, but I don't know.
lately, there hasn't been hardly any other clones in the Bad Batch other than, obviously, the Bad Batch. Uh, but that's one thing that I'm a little disappointed in, to be honest. The lack of other clones. Like, we haven't seen, like, anybody. Like, we haven't even seen Rex yet. I mean, we've seen him in the trailer, but not the actual show. We haven't seen Cody, uh, Bly, Fox, you know, anybody other than the Bad Batch and some random clones on uh, Kamino. So that's one thing I wish they would add, just some more clones from the Clone Wars. But yeah, it's pretty good so far. Well, there's the shoulders. Just gotta put Mod Podge on them and paint them. Yeah, none of the clones have, like, custom armor other than the shock troopers. That's a little disappointing in my opinion, because we know the 501st is still blue since they attacked the Jedi Temple. And we know all the other clones are still out there. They haven't, like, had time to repaint their armor. This is literally right after Order 66, so it wouldn't make sense for them to repaint their armor so quickly. Um, that is one thing... Like I said, I was disappointed in. Like, they're not uh, showing the rest of the clones. It's just, like, the basic ones and the shock troopers. I get they're trying to show that this is the Empire now. Like, this is... Uh, it's more strict. There's not as many colors. Um, I get that. But still, I would like to see the rest of the clones, you know. Um, I think re-entry on Kamino would be like, hit the clones with a sand blower thing and remove all the paint from the battalion. I mean, that's possible, but like, there's still clones all over the galaxy, like the, uh, yeah. I guess it's possible that the ones that came back to Kamino had their armor decolorized, <laughs> but I'm not really sure. Ruins Ahsoka's character if she appears in literally every Star Wars show under the sun. Yeah. I feel like we will see just a brief appearance of Ahsoka because she's with Rex at the moment. She and Rex just left that uh, planet with the destroyed uh, Venator. So they're together and we saw Rex in the trailer so we know he's in it and he's with Ahsoka so I think putting two, to, two and two together we probably will see just a brief 
scene with her, but who knows. Overexposure isn't always a good thing. I agree. I don't think the show should be centered around Ahsoka or have like too much exposure, but I think brief Easter eggs, like references, are okay. And I think that's what they'll do, like they did with Rex, since it's called the Bad Batch. You know, the Bad Batch is going to be the, the main characters. <clears throat> but it would be nice to see some little references, I think, personally. Colors for the units be helpful for identification. I agree. I think that's kind of one of the reasons why clones had different color armor. Um, and I don't like the decolorization that the Empire is kind of doing. But I get why they're doing it. To bring, like, order and everything. Um... Emperor outlawed custom armor because it basically showed the clones loyalty and admiration to the Jedi they served. That's a good point, actually. I like that idea. Yeah, I really like that idea because the clones had, like, usually armor colors that represented uh, the Jedi. Like, Anakin's was blue because he had a blue lightsaber. Well... I don't know why Obi-Wan is orange, though. But it's a... I like that idea. <clears throat> if the Empire kept using clones, no one could impersonate them. That's a really good point, actually. Yeah, like Han and Luke wouldn't be able to sneak onto the Death Star because they have a height difference. And they have a voice difference as well. So, yeah, that's another security measure that was looked over, I guess. That's a really good point. <laughs> Two twelfth were the continuation of the Republic Rocket Troopers legacy. I have not heard that one before. But that's kinda cool. May Crosshair's armor like the clones in Fallen Order. That's true, like the uh, Purge Troopers, I think. I actually kinda hope we'll get to see like Purge Troopers. You know, just to kind of connect the dots. Yeah, that's a good point. That's true, the Purge Troopers have an airborne helmet, and we haven't gotten an animated airborne helmet as of yet. Like, there was the AR ARF Trooper, but those, I don't think, are airborne exactly. So, we really should get, like, an airborne helmet in the animated style already. It's been a long time, so I agree.
Uh, these are shoulder pads for the clone. They're going to be used for my Commander Cody costume. Bad Batch is a great show, but lacks in the areas the Clone Wars were amazing in. I agree. It seems to heavily focus on just the Bad Batch, whereas like the Clone Wars branched out to multiple main characters, like there was Anakin, Obi Wan, Ahsoka, Rex, you know, all of the all the other Jedi, um, and they each had like a few episodes focused on them, whereas the Bad Batch is only focused on the Bad Batch. So I do think that's a big difference. And, uh, personally, I don't really like it, uh, because it just kind of repeats every episode where it's just them on an adventure and not showing other characters. Like, we haven't seen so many characters, uh, from this time period in the Bad Batch, and there's just so much possibility, but it's not really happening, I guess. They're not really taking advantage of all the... Uh, comic book lore and character arcs that could happen during this time. I mean, maybe they're saving it for another TV show or something, but there's just so much happening during this time period, and they're not showing it. And that's kind of annoying, but we'll see. I know Rex is going to be in a future episode, and that's kind of what I'm really looking forward to. Is it possible to make a foam helmet? It is possible, um, but I don't think it will look quite as good as the liquid plastic version uh, with Pepakura. I just think it's a lot uh, more firm with the liquid plastic, um, but it can be done with foam. Uh, I have yet to do it though. Yeah, I guess it is a little hard to go into Bad Batch, uh, like the story, without spoiling it, uh, for those who haven't seen it, but not much has really happened so far, uh, for those who have not seen it. Uh, it's mostly just them on adventures, going from planet to planet, kind of exploring, and that's about it so far. It gets a little old after some time, but... It has potential, and I do like it. I don't love it, but I do like it, and I think that's the general consensus. Yeah, there are going to be like 16 episodes, so they have a lot of potential still to add more plot elements and introduce more characters. Um, we'll see where it goes, but I hope it goes in a good, good direction. Check out Foam Armory. Made a Bad Batch Hunter helmet. Uh, oh, they're free? Yeah, I'll definitely check it out if it's free. I love giving uh, shout-outs to good people that give free content. Uh, that's kind of my thing, you get free stuff. So, yeah, I'll check that out. Um, foam Armory. I'll look into it uh, after the stream, but thanks for the reference.
Yeah, I've seen Odin makes. His uh, Arc Trooper helmet was incredible, uh, but I don't think he gave free patterns for it. Maybe I'm wrong, but I thought the Arc Trooper helmet patterns weren't free. Or, no, I think he reused, like, his Rex helmet patterns, so he didn't, like, make a new one. I think that's what it was. There was no Arc Trooper helmet pattern. Big shame. But, uh, yeah, Odin makes... has some great, great stuff. The only templates he sells are the ones, yes make a whole model for. Okay. It's been a while since I've looked into his uh, free templates, so maybe I'll check them out again. I know he has a few free templates, but like I said, it's been a while since I've checked. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. Um. Clones versus normal soldiers. That's a big topic. I think, personally, I prefer clones. I think a lot of Clone Wars fans will say the same, but I just feel that clones are better soldiers because they can, like, they know what they're thinking, I guess. They have the same like the same uh, mind but like individual bodies I guess so they know like if a grenade's about to explode then the guy next to him is gonna run away like you can kind of predict that's gonna happen well no that's a dumb dumb example uh, like if you're doing an ambush that's a better example an ambush like you're setting up an ambush and some droids walk by uh, the clones will know when the other clones are thinking about attacking because they have the same mind mindset. Like, uh, they go here, I'm going to attack there. Uh, I don't know. I think they can kind of predict what each other are going to do, and that makes a more cohesive unit than, like, individual human beings because every human is very different. Um, and we have different abilities and stuff. Abilities are another thing, because, like, clones know each other's abilities, uh, because they are very similar to each other. Yeah, I would appreciate, uh, any links to clone helmet files. I appreciate it, video game guy. Crosshair's armor resembles Death Trooper armor. I agree, that's kind of what I thought at first. Like we were going to get an early Death Trooper. Uh, it turned out to be Crosshair, but I do think his armor is probably like the prototype for Death Troopers. Yeah, clones were trained from, or they're cloned from one of the best bounty hunters in the galaxy, so yeah, they would have a lot of his, like, skills and tactics. I agree. Yeah, so much deep lore. I appreciate you guys uh, <laughs> pitching in and talking to each other. It's really fun to watch play out. Clones age twice as much. Yeah, that's a a big downside. Hmm. Ever done a fiberglass resin helmet? I've never done fiberglass and resin before, but I've seen it done many times. And that's what I based uh, my Pepakura helmets off of, because I saw so many people using fiberglass and resin uh, to like strengthen helmets uh, so that's what, what gave me the idea to do a liquid plastic helmet um, 
<clears throat> the liquid plastic is definitely not as strong as resin, but, uh, or fiberglass resin, but it's still pretty good. Much safer, I would say. I know fiberglass resin can be really dangerous, uh, cause like the fiberglass is, uh, hard to deal with, perhaps. But that's what Peppercura was designed to be used with, fiberglass and resin. Um, I'm, I'm kind of modifying that to just liquid plastic. Yeah, I'd say clones could probably live around 50 years, which is unfortunate, but it's 50 years that are, I mean, there's no war that's going to last 50 years though, so you don't really need the soldiers to last that long, they just need to last for the war, uh, so even normal soldiers, like, you wouldn't need them for 50 or 100 years. You'd only need them for like 10 or 20. I guess in the real world, soldiers don't spend their whole lives, don't usually spend their whole lives in the army, I want to say. They like go on leave and stuff and come home. I'm not an expert, but I know like especially during times of war, uh, once the war is over, everybody goes back to living normally. They don't just stay in the army, so you wouldn't really need them in the army. <clears throat> Wrecker as an actual soldier? That'd be pretty crazy. He'd need a lot of armor or else he'd just get shot really quickly. But I think if you gave him like a tank or something, he'd be really good. Yeah, any uh, pictures can be sent to me from Instagram or Discord. Uh, I usually check both of those. Instagram more regularly, I think. Just don't send it to me on uh, the RPF.com, because I almost never check there. That's just where I store the templates. See ya, Phil. Thanks for joining. Always fun to have a familiar face. War in the Middle East has been going on for 3,000 years. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess uh, that's a pretty crazy topic um, but yeah I don't want to speak too much on that because I just don't know a whole lot but I agree it's been turbulent for as long as history I think I'm going to uh, go ahead and end the stream pretty soon. I think it's gone on for quite a while. At least I got one piece of armor done. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining, guys. I really appreciate the uh, support and for, you know, joining in the conversation. It was really fun. The military was developing a Mandalorian suit. I think I've seen like a a picture on that but that'd be funny I wonder if they get into like copyright issues with Disney <laughs> anyway yeah have a good night guys unless you're on the other side of the world and it's morning so well good morning in that case but good night to the rest of you and uh yeah thanks for joining
look forward to more videos and the commando templates coming out eventually. I just finished uh, most of the Mandalorian templates, and for those of you who joined late, uh, the Clone Trooper uh, holster template has been uploaded on the RPF, so you can check that out for free as usual. It just, you know, fits in my normal pistol. Very simple template, but enjoy it. Yeah, it was a great stream. Thanks for talking about uh, the Bad Batch and Clone Wars. That was a lot of fun. Alright. Catch you guys later.